Hello crafty friends, welcome to my channel. This is Gloria Parra and today I have a bit of a different video for you. I have a haul video of all the fun products I got. I got this in a couple of months, but since I don't live in the States, I live in Bolivia, I have to have this brought to me by a family member that goes to the States and can bring it. So I usually go purchasing and getting all these things together until my husband or a family member can bring it to me. So now I want to show you, it's basically Halloween. It's basically the holidays in this haul. So I'm really excited to get into it and show you what I got. And I would love for you to tell me what you're excited to see me creating with, maybe a video idea if you get something. So let's dive into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my first purchase. This was, if I'm not wrong, from a cherry on top. You know, I started like this crafty journey very, very young. And one of the things that I used to do was cross stitching and I loved it, friends. I would cross stitch, if you gave me a photo, I had like a program that would convert it and I would like cross stitch it with 90 different threads and I loved it. As soon as I got into the paper world, I kind of forgot about cross stitching until my dear friend, Victoria Marie, got me thinking about it again on her Patreon. If you don't follow her there, you should, she's amazing. And you know, I spent lots of time on the car waiting and taking my girls from one cl class to the other. So, Paper crafting in the car is kind of hard. I try to edit my photos, to edit my videos, do something in the car, but sometimes I really crave to have something crafty. And when I saw Victoria Marie doing cross stitch and showing her projects, I got the bug again. So I got a couple of, of things from a cherry on top of kits. And one of this is a little born to craft. It's like basic just to get me started again and, and like to remember how I used to do things. I also got this kind of a family little hoop here that I love. So I'm gonna have my family members, my little dog, something fun to decorate my space with. And I got this one that looks so pretty. It's a little more intricate so and look how beautiful those threads look there. So I love the colors and this is gonna help me pass those hours in the car, friends. I also got this waffle flower grip mat because I've been looking at Jennifer McGuire and all the card makers just to get maybe some little inspiration and get me to card making as well. So I saw that many of them use this and I got it for myself. I also got this stamp conditioning eraser from Altenew and I I think you use this just to to condition your stamps to put them ready to get them ready to stamp so I thought that was something new that I did not have I was also needing some like frames for my for my cards because I've been creating some for World Card Making Day and I was missing some frames so I thought this one was nice. I kind of like this one. It's a small slimline card frame from Pink Fresh, and I like this little what are they called? <laughs> like arches. So I got that one. Okay friends, let's come to Paige Evans Trick and Treats collection. It was so so hard to find this collection and I took the I took the Halloween event from the magazine from scrapbook and cards today and I love the collection so I needed more and I went hunting for it literally I went hunting for it on every site website I could find so I found this at a tray on top and I got two of them because of course I love the front and the back I also got this photo play collection. I really 
I think this is the first collection that I have from them, or maybe the second one. But I love the colors. I really like it. Sorry for the noise. But, you know, I have two girls. I love pink. They love pink. So, yeah, I thought they've been dressed for Halloween many times in pink. So, I thought this was such a good collection to have for those pink costumes and yeah. I just loved it. I love the color. So I got the collection. I got, you know, this collection did not have many embellishments. The only thing I could find was this little like frame ephemera pack. This epoxy dice paper. I don't get this because this is just cardstock. Maybe I think the epoxy comes inside. So I'm going to check that out, how it works, because I'm not familiar with this brand. And I got one of this cardstock stickers, came with the collection, and I got an extra one. Just to get more, more of the embellishments. But of course, I can maybe bring in some of this embellishments here. Or I'm sure I have plenty in my stash that could work. So that's from a cherry on pop. I'm really excited for the cross stitching. I'm going to be starting, I believe, with this one because it's very, very friendly. So now let's move into scrapbook.com. Okay, now moving to scrapbook.com, I got a bunch of collections. So I'm going to move from collection to collection, okay? I'm in my dyes era. I'm really into dyes. I'm loving them. So yeah, I got a bunch of them. Like I told you, I was looking for some fun frames that I could use for cards and for layouts as well. So I got this two fun ones from Pink Fresh Studio. I love putting together with my girls little treat bags, decorations for Halloween. We go big on Halloween. So I got a bunch of, of Halloween dies as well. I got this little ghost, this little ghost from Waffle Flowers dies. I loved it. So I imagine them hanging from the tree bags, something fun. I got this joyful, fun alpha die. I saw, I think it was Anna Comenda. I'm not sure her, her last name is set like that, but I saw her working for the Scrap Fest festival, that the scrapbook.com festival. I saw her working with this die and I loved it on the layout. So yeah, I had to order it. I also got this super cute die with little ghosts. So I'm gonna create like a banner, maybe something fun. I also got this shape die that it's, I believe they're called caskets or coffins, sorry. Yeah, coffins, I got that one. I also got this super fun nested pumpkin die that I loved. So maybe a little banner or some, I don't know, Thanksgiving decorations. I love this Concord and Nine. I am really in love with Concord and Nine friends. I love their dies. They're super fun, modern, and I don't know. I just, I'm in love with them. And I got this like pumpkin 3D embellishments that I would love to create for Thanksgiving dinner and Maybe some treat bags for school, some treat boxes with some fun little treats inside. I got this shape die, this bat one. I love it. It's a big size. So I see we're going to be creating some, de some decorations for our house and for my kids' room. They love decorating. And now, friends, I got some stuff from Paige Evans collection there. Of course, I had to get, since it's so hard to find, I had to get two of each. So I got two of the, I don't know what these are called. The, it just says ephemera pack. So yeah, this is such an awesome collection, you know? I love the colors, really in love with it. And I got two of the florals because these are some great florals. I got the foam stickers, the foam alpha stickers, and the puffy. I 
believe. Yeah, puffy phrase stickers. I got one of each. I got two of the cardstock stickers. I got the washi tape. I already have the mini album, so I got some extra little sleeves there. I got the embellishment pack with little trinkets. I love the, the bats, the ruffled crepe paper thing there. I also got the puffy stickers and two enamel sticker sets. We have a little fun scrapbook.com card there. This is just an awesome, awesome printed acetate. And from there, I got this paper and this. So I got, I found those three when I ordered from scrapbook.com. So I was missing paper, friends, but I was determined to find the rest of it. So I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that because I got some other paper and I'm so happy. I also got the stamp cleaning chamois from scrapbook.com. I just love it's pink. I had to have it and it's perfect for cleaning your stamps. And they sent, this is a gift, I believe. It was a gift when I ordered. It's the double-sided sticky die storage cards. So I'm gonna try that to put in my, my dice maybe. Okay, so now let's move on to the other collection that I got. And look how fun this vibrant pastel color combination is. I just love this collection. So let me show you a bit of the papers here because it's very, very fun. I don't mind being an older collection, so it just gets me as excited as if it was new. <laughs> so we get the sticker sheet here, the cardstock sticker, and we get, look at this, the little stars. I love those pastels. I just adore them. We got the plaid, the polka dot, borders, really fun borders with pumpkins, ghosts, little I love this little guys here. Like they look so familiar. Like they look like my daughters all dressed up. And you know, I think it would work not only for Halloween cuz they dress up so frequently that I have tons of photos that could work with this collection. So we have the bold stripes here, another plaid, the little ghosts. Cut parts, look at this fun house. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Paige's collection, like vibrant and fun. I also got the solid pattern cardstocks here. And of course I had to get all the fun embellishments. I got the cardstock stickers. I got the, they're called chit chat. That are like titles and word phrases. I got the odds and ends that are all those little creatures pumpkins, houses. I had to get all the puffies and sprinkles that I could find. And of course my favorites are the doodle pups. So I got the, I'm not sure what, like the snow globe, I got the haunted house, I got the lollipops, just a bunch of them friends, little ghosts here, the moon, Oh, this candy jar just was so fun. I got all of those friends. The spider web and more sprinkles here. Oh, and I got this snow globe. This is like very sturdy, I love it. And I thought of changing it every season, I don't know. But I just thought this would look so fun with this collection and something. I think I'm gonna need another one because I'm sure when I create it, my daughters are gonna want to have them in the room. So maybe I will need to get another one and just create one for each. So this was a very, I don't know, a, a very fun purchase, different for me from me, but this was such a fun purchase. It's very different of, of what I usually get, but it excites me so much. 
And now let's move to Christmas. I believe I got this at scrapbook.com as well. This is the new Crate Paper Holly Jolly Holiday Collection. I love this little, this was something new. I love this little houses here. You get to, these are 3D houses that you have to put together. And you have two of them. So I really like them, something fun and different. And I got a couple of papers from that collection. I always get two of my favorite friends. Because why choose, right? I just had to get two of them. This is like a very classic crepe paper. I kind of found the, the embellishments a little small. But they're so cute. So there wasn't a ton of this. Like I only found the words, the... The foam letter stickers and the ephemeras and this little piece here. So that was all I could find. So this is my Christmas products. And from scrapbook.com, I also got a couple extras because you know I'm in the Simple Stories design team and I get their whole collections. They are super generous with what they send us but I always need extras from my, my favorite collections. And from Christmas, I really, really love, let me put this where it belongs. So I'm gonna start with a snow pine. Okay, so I just adored this collection. I believe this was designed by Kelly Banks and I love everything Kelly Banks create. I love the color palettes. So I had to get an extra kit of this one. I adored it and whenever I get extras, I get extras of the florals and the bits and pieces because those are the ones that I use the most. So I got one of each. And of course, if you've seen my videos, you know how much I love my chipboard frames. So I got an extra of that. I'm really excited to create with this collection. The colors are just the colors that make my heart sing and happy. So that was one collection from Simple Stories that I got extras. And oh yeah, I got three collections actually. I got the Holly Jolly. I did the same thing. I got the collection kit, an extra one. And I got the bits and pieces pack. This is, I love this vintage vibe. It kind of reminds me of October afternoon and what they used to do with those Santa. So yeah, this is a very fun and vintage collection. And of course, the chipboard frames. And the last product from Simple Stories was Santa's Village. I just love like the bright green and this more more modern Santas and houses. So yeah, I love that one. I got an extra pack of the bits and pieces. I love those little houses. They're so fun. So this is Santa's Village, actually. This is the bits and pieces. And here you get some fun trees, the chimney, more houses, and some very, very fun Pieces, of course, the floral bits. No one does florals like Simple Stories. They're just amazing. So I have to have an extra. And my chipboard frames. Friends, I need more of those. I always need more of those. So that's it for Simple Stories. And we're almost done. We're almost done. Let me bring in another. So like I told you, I was hunting the web to find more of Paige Evans' collection, The Trick and Treats. So I went to this website called Picture This, and I found a bunch of papers and the foam sticker. So if you're looking, just check this website out. It's Picture This. And I found the foam stickers that are just, just amazing. I don't have another word for that. And I found some of the pattern papers, the cut apart, uh, the little moon one with the purple side. This one that it's so, so fun. I love this side. So yeah, two of those. I found this one. 
the houses one I just love this we created such a fun page with this in the magazine event I got this one that reminds me of Beetlejuice <laughs> super fun I got this one that's a tone on tone an orange tone and tone and a fun like squared side oh and I don't know how I got this one maybe I thought it was part of this collection but this is spooky by pebbles but this side is gonna work perfectly so yeah I got that from picture this website so if you're looking for this collection check that out check out that website and let me bring the last thing so this was a kit by Paige Evans and oh my god I already saw the class the album the layouts I already printed out my my booklet there and now I need to find, find the time to create it but it's such a fun collection I had nothing of this collection this is the gingham garden and love how soft it is like pastel colors but I don't know very very romantic like very delicate we have the fun florals and tags and journaling spots just so soft and beautiful so if you want to check this collection out I'm sure a cherry on top or scrapbook.com might have it it's very fun I think Peach sold out of this kit because it it was great the layouts she has are amazing as always so I got all this in her kit papers and just instructions there we got this fun little trinkets and trims I'm sure if, if you know Paige we're gonna be stitching our heads off <laughs> and we got this beautiful they're pink they're actually pink this is the protective cover and we're gonna create a fun mini album with this pieces here so yeah friends I think that's it it was a huge haul like I told you I get this like in a couple months three four months I've been buying and using my coupons and using my cherry points I have not gotten this like in one sitting but I just I'm super excited I would love to for you to let me know if there's something you would like to see me create with first and I don't know thank you so much for being here and for sharing my excitement opening and looking at all this fun products so see you around thank you so much this was Gloria Parra and hope to see you back soon bye bye <laughs>